What is that? You just said the light is bad. Yeah, so but like, now it's a. I'm gonna light you eyes. up properly. Hi everyone, it's me, Veda, and it's Mike also. Hello. For better or worse. Uh, we got up at like 4 a.m. Yeah. Now we're driving to Deaton. Got revolver. Got some Wawa coffee. You're gonna try to sleep a little bit? Yeah. I think I'm gonna drive. Headed to Dayton, it's like nine hours, eight hours. I so hold know. on, I'm gonna sleep a little bit. Then you're gonna sleep and I'm gonna drive. You can't just be like, we're going, Mike's gonna sleep because he's a baby and I'm gonna stay no! up the whole way and drive. that's the plan. You sleep and then I sleep because we didn't sleep last night. Then we do Revolver, then we drive all the way back here to do another show because... We because love driving. Let's freaking go. All right, quick update, critical update. Uh, we're like, we just got into West Virginia. Mama, mama. And uh, stop for coffee. It's Sheets territory though, so that's what we got. Uh, what'd you get? You got a sandwich or something. Just got a chicken pop pow. What? Chicken pop pow? Mm hmm Hold on, what do you got here? So this is like a flatbread. It is, it's not like a flatbread. A flatbread. It actually, it smells pretty good. So the reason it smells good is because of the marinara sauce. Mm. Caramelized pepper and onion, double grilled chicken, provolone, marinara sauce. And Only course, the finest sheets. Salt, pepper, and onion. All right, let's pack and go. Second here. What is this? Why is there mustard in the back of the car? So we bought this last week. Yeah, but why is it in the back of I the have car? No idea. It's like holstered. So there's also there's a loose energy drink. Ooh, that was a good one too. And do a total hat that you might have known. Oh yeah, I was. Alright, hell yeah. Here we good. found it. Yeah. Alright. Here. Using revolver. Hello. Hi everybody. Sometimes when you don't have a mirror, use your iPad. See? Wow, there's a lot of me right now. Hold on. Well, I, I missed it. I did nothing. What did you do? Cartwheel? No, I just kind of climbed an area. Uh, I, this is Revolver on Thursday. I'm wrestling tomorrow. Uh, so I was playing around in the ring a little bit. Hey, what are you eating? This is a, this is 100% a family size Bob Evans mashed potatoes. You're going right at it with a fork, my friend. What are you doing? Oh, I got changed and now I don't want to do anything. Get it? You get it? <laughs> like Moxley. <laughs> yeah? Hi. I just need to show this look for the vlog. Oh, oh hi. We need the usual Gia. Mm. Mm -hmm. There it is, there it is, there, there it is. There she is. <laughs> Doors are open here at Revolver. Lots of folks. Big meet and greet line. It's a Thursday. Oh, 
she's at home! Oh, she's at home! Instead of a time, can you see that? But he's at Mark Boy and he's me. <laughs> uh, back at the hotel. Uh, the good news is we can sleep now. The bad news is we gotta wake up in like a very few hours <laughs> and drive ten hours to New Jersey to wrestle Masha and Akira. To wrestle violent death. American death dealers. American death dealers. Yeah. To Masha to get our asses beat. By Masha and Akira, and then Linda, after what? Don't say you should. Wait, did you put your braces in? Yeah, I have my Invisalign in. So you should have done that before filming the thing. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Okay. Uh, this one's already sleeping. Good night. Um, but the good news after we fight Masha and Akira is we get to go sleep for a couple more minutes and then. <laughs> Get on a plane to California to do two more shows. So things are going good, basically. I did get to call a match with John Moxley tonight. That was <laughs> pretty true. cool. You commentating partner. <laughs> I want to go away. <laughs> Goodbye. And we're back. Oh, it's dark. And it's snowing? Question mark. Uh, yeah, it's what the fuck day is it? Don't know. It's Friday. Friday. Friday morning, it's like 6 a.m. All right, let's leave, get the hell out of Ohio and drive to, back to Jersey, which is not better. For Garden State. Yeah. It's a mere nine hours or something, so that's fine. Let's fucking go.
Also, yes, this is day two of me wearing this hoodie and uh, that will continue because I forgot to pack another one. Let me see if maybe I can show that I'm doing has one of his merch I could borrow. Okay, the car's beeping. This is important. Uh, so we're like two hours out from Jersey. We just stopped at a Love's truck stop, uh, choose the restroom and buy some waters. waters. And the cashier got on the intercom yep. and goes, attention, bananas are the cheapest item at Love's. So, come get some bananas today. And I thought that was an odd announcement to make. Uh, all over the intercom, like into the parking lot. And then I looked and I noticed that there's no less than like six baskets full of green bananas in the loves. So apparently they just got a big delivery and they're trying to get rid of them. Nowhere near ripe as well. No. Did we buy any bananas? No. We didn't. Sorry. I just, that made my day. Hi, Billy. Are you, what, you have an open challenge tonight, right? Wow. No one's gonna know who it is. I mean, I read the sheet, so I know who it is. Oh, that's me. <laughs> you spoil it, baby. Come on. I'm also here. Hello. All right, so, I didn't film anything else so far today because I was worried about wrestling because I don't wrestle that often, but I'm excited. Yeah. We're tagging. Hey, this is our first tag match ever married. First tag match. Married. Married. Uh, it's gonna be good, I think. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. I'll put some clips in if it doesn't suck.
Raw tag went okay. Went great. Masha, once again, failed to kill me. I know it's gonna happen one day. I know. I know it's gonna happen one day, but once again, I have sur Remember Duck Hunt? The game yeah. Duck Hunt? Yes. Do you know the game Duck Hunt? Yes, I played yeah. Duck Hunt. Yeah, well, that's what's gonna happen. Here's a random thing about games, and I've been trying to find a single fucking human who knows about this game, uh, aside from me. Uh, I think it was called Polar Golfer or something like that, where it was like a weird computer game where there was a white polar bear like playing golf into like these different fucking worlds. Ooh. And yeah. All right. Who's like deep? Who's like so, yeah, internet game? Someone will know. Sound off if you know. What is it? Polar Golf? I think it's Polar Golfer or something like that. But like. Was it like a game game or was it like an educational game? No, no. It was like a computer game. Uh -huh. And it was like play golf as a bear. And I remember is this like my uh, Asian ice cream movie? Okay, so Mike has a movie. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So are we gonna, do I do this whole bit on the vlog? Because it's quite long. Mike has okay. a movie that he swears is real, but There's it's not. There's a movie that I swear is real. I swear I saw it. Uh, I am completely unable to find it, and Lord knows I have searched We have long spent many hard. hours. What kind of possible? I, I don't remember. It, it doesn't Japanese, exist. He made it up. Most likely Japanese or Korean. But so here's the plot to the movie, right? Here we go. And and it like has scenes and stuff, but for some reason, I don't remember the reason, but a bunch of parents decide they want to get rid of their children. They want to kill their children. That range between like six and ten years old. So they take them on a long camping trip. And the des the, the plan is they're gonna serve for dessert ice cream that is poisoned. So that the parents are gonna get normal ice cream and the kids are gonna get poisoned ice cream, right? And then they'll be rid of their children. But the children find out. And the, the children switch the ice creams. So it, it culminates to this long scene where it's this long picnic table and they're all having dessert and the children know they switched it, the adults don't know they switched it. So then you see all the different families' reactions, right? Some, some parents are like, eat your damn ice cream, kid. And then the kids are like, oh, okay. And then some, like, some of the parents and children are crying and are like, I don't want my ice cream, you gotta eat your ice cream. And then they eat it. Except this one single dad with his daughter who's like, the father is like, not knowing this was the ice cream, maybe we just don't have dessert. He puts the ice cream away. And then the film ends on this scene of the, the bus, everyone's in the bus going home. You just have all the kids playing and being loud with no parents, except in the back of the bus, the one single dad and his daughter just over the holding hands in silence. Okay, so I, we have- That's very interesting. We, have spent, we spent a lot of time trying to figure out if it was real. The conclusion I have is that you did maybe dream it, but it sounds like... It's, it's genius! If I made it up, it's genius! Wait, guys, guys. Instead, <laughs> no, we should just go to Hollywood and it. we do it. Let's it, sounds, it, it sounds like it would not be a full movie. It sounds like a... a great short. It sounds yeah. like, yeah, like in an anthology or something. 30 minutes. But also, this needs to be an impact special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you we gotta, murder people on our show regularly. What's five That is true. That is true. So, the ice cream party impact special. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sure someone will watch this and be like, no, I know the movie, and then... Well, hopefully... Tell us okay, so I'm going to go and Google it right now. Polar find go it. You're not going to find it, because we've been trying. Polar Golf and uh, Murder Ice Cream. Yes. Yes. If you know, please let us know. All right, goodbye! What up, motherfuckers? Oh, I have a cut on my chin. We made it to a hotel room. We're going to sleep for a couple hours. We're leaving our car here. Then we're going to fly to Sacramento. What are you doing, little monkey? We've been carrying these mangoes around for two days, uh, and we don't have a knife, so you're just peeling them with so your So the mangoes are at our local supermarket are uh -huh. 10 for $10. Yeah. So we bought 10. Uh-huh. And we couldn't just leave them at home for the weekend, so we brought them with us. But tomorrow, the car stays here, and we get on a plane for three days. Well, not on a plane for three days, but you know what I mean? So we're just hand-eating some mangoes. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go to sleep, and then we're going to wake so up. We have food coming as well. I know. We are living in luxury right now. We did Uber Eats, so... Full on pro wrestling golf. We thought that we were going to just eat protein bars and hand mangoes, but instead... Anyway, it's really fucking late. We're going to sleep for a couple hours. Then, it's off to Sacramento. See you tomorrow. Yuck. Good morning from the 4 a.m. shuttle. That's my coffee. This motherfucker. What? 
So, okay, hold on. So, you have United, you have like United Premier Gold, Platinum, Platinum status. Yeah, of course. So, because we're traveling on the same itinerary, I got upgraded to a, a comfort yeah, plus. Yeah, comfort premium, premium. Show this, show this seat that you just got updated to, oh, upgraded what? to. It's it's three E. Okay, it's a what? It's a pod. So you're. You got the pod. Uh, where? Keep like, going. Where, where are keep, you? You're like. It's somewhere back here by the in the bathroom. You're like forty one F. Oh Jesus Christ. There's one no, no, you got upgraded. You're like nine. I got a, a slight. Right I got there. slightly more leg room, and you have a, a fucking spaceship to okay, fly well, in. I'll move to this one. No, so that you. Maybe we can hold hands. That's how close we'll be. What? I'm just gonna go. I'm, I'm, I'll be right back. You're good. Don't worry. What is? What is all of this? Come on. This feels very minimal. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go back into my my maximal seat on the wing. Goodbye. I love you. You know you're in Sacramento when you see the suitcase statue. Bailey, all the way back to our commentary table. I had it back into the ring. <laughs> Almost Sunday morning. We just got to the hotel we're staying at in San Francisco. Uh, so we drove from the show in Sacramento down to San Francisco. Now we're gonna sleep a little bit and then uh, do a hood slam in the morning. So, we're good. <laughs> All right, it's day four. I still got the hoodie, but I, I've been changing the shirt I'm wearing underneath, so it's probably fine. Also, hair and braids. Please ignore our loose kombucha bottles. Let's go. Why does my hand look like a claw? Coffee, 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 coffee. Dog. Coffee, 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 coffee. Oh, we made it! Boys land, baby! Hey, hey, Mike, what do you do before a show? <laughs> this? <laughs> Here for Hood Slam, I am doing commentary today. However, it is live over the PA system. So. See how that goes? I've never done that before.
There's a cover! Hop Daddy almost retained in record time! from the race aroni match. Oh, yeah. So what'd you think, Quid Slam? I thought it was great. I had fun. What are you looking I at? Someone had thrown dead birds at me. They weren't they, they weren't real birds. They were real birds. They were not real birds. Yes. They were real birds, one thousand percent. It's Monday. I think. Four AM San Francisco Airport. About to get on a plane. Go back home. And then, when we get back home, we're back at our house by like, what, 8 p.m.? Oh, yeah. With the layover. And then, we have... Tuesday off. Well, it's not off. We have a lot of stuff to do. Yeah. And then we're back on the road Wednesday for Fight Life. Did you have a good weekend? I had a good. It was good. I need caffeine. Now. Immediately, please. Yeah.